Boom is pretty awesome. I like it. So I've decided to make a quick video about my centralized control board. That's what I called it. Help me out with the name on this thing. Yeah. I don't know where I got that name actually, but yeah, that's what I called it for now. So this is the board that I use when I get to work flowy. Oh gosh, probably 95% of what I do is inside of this board at this point and then actually visually on this board. Um, so right now making a video about this very board for you too. Okay, so here's what I do with this board. Um, I'm going to start in the kind of the middle with this capture node. Um, this is basically where I log everything I do every day. Uh, up at the top, I've got a few resources. Uh, if I have a Zettelcast in thought, I can click on the template there. If I want to do kind of a state state check in to see like how am I doing right now? Am I anxious, frustrated, happy, tired? And then is there some kind of change I need to make to my state? I've got a process for that. Uh, and then if I've got a new meeting notes, which honestly I've just created this for the workflowy template contest, um, but it is roughly the template that I use when I do take notes. But I never had a template for it, but now I do, which is awesome. Okay. So basically, I uh, I just, at the beginning of the day, when I get up, I log it. I go and check my weight. I'm 195 pounds, 15 more pounds to go, at least, maybe 25. I don't know. Need to lose some weight. Have uh, coffee time with my wife, meet with some guys, uh, had breakfast, talked with Racy, had a phenomenal coaching me. Listen, listen, listen up. If you are, have even thought about uh, hiring a business and personal development coach. Check out Jim Carwish on the Work Chloe Slack group. I can't promise that you won't be disappointed, but like you won't be disappointed, right? That's not a promise. It's just that's just the fact. He has really, really, really uh, helped me kind of propel forward into some arenas that I've been wanting to for years, and now I have. Um, met with Rodolfo. Anyway, I won't go through all the stuff I did, but I just log what I do. Uh, and sometimes inside of that note, I'll go into a lot of detail. I might take some meeting notes. I might do some brainstorming. And then from there, I send it using the embed feature to a log. So like you'll see right here, for example, uh, the Dunkel job log and work log. So I send those over to a log and that tracks everything I do whenever I do something at the Dunkel job uh, at work log. Uh, just any job I go to, I send the details over. And that's just for archive purposes, for reference, right? Um, so I do a lot of work in here. Here's, for me personally, why this is exciting is because that capture mechanic fits my personality probably more than most. Um, I've never been a big journaler, but I've been a cap, like I capture, I have like, I don't know, probably 16,000 notes in Evernote. Uh, I have, I'm running at over a hundred thousand nodes in Workflowy. Uh, and a lot of it's just capturing, it's brainstorming. It's, I see a quote, I love it. I pull it in, tag it so I can see it for, uh, you know, check it out later, have a reference for it. Create a tremendous amount of input collection that I mostly put in Evernote for Workflow. Um, so that's just my personality. Like that's this engine constantly running inside of me. And if you don't have that going inside of you, then this is not going to make much sense. But like I long, I'm constantly wanting to capture stuff. Um, so now I actually have a mechanic for that in Workflowy. I'm intensely attracted to this note. Like as I'm doing something, I'm thinking about that note inside of Workflowy, wanting to go there, wanting to log it, wanting to take a picture and put it in there if I... You know, if there's a document from some meeting, I'm going to snap a picture, put it in that log, send it over to whatever, whatever, you know, related log or project it belongs in. Super fun. It pulls me into Workflowy. Now, while I'm there, um, I end up coming in my eyes in order to get to that center note here. My eyes go to my my daily flywheel, which is just a list of things 
that I want to do every day, that if I do them, they'll be beneficial. Some I have to do, some I want to do, some I like, you know, brushing my teeth, um, you know, take, taking vitamins. Um, you know, there's just, there's a bunch of things, do some meditation, that kind of stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff in there, most of which I would do, honestly, whether I came into workflow or not, they're just natural. But by cultivating that flywheel in a particular way, I can embed some nuanced activities that will bear fruit over time, like taking vitamins. I don't want to take vitamins, but there it is at the top of my list. So pop the vitamin after supper and, and go, you know, just go on with my day, go on to the next thing. And when I cross that off, the next thing pops to the top. So it's always at the top. Um, next action, I'm here. Where'd it go? Oh, I put it all the way down there. I didn't actually put this where it goes. So I screw up sometimes, right? Um, I need to make a phone call to go and look at a job. Then I'm painting a second coat on a master bathroom right there. Um, dark blue paint, a ton of fun to, to work with. Um, and so whatever is at the top here on my flywheel, that's next. And then whatever is at the top of my next action. In order to get to my capture node, I automatically look at what's next on my flywheel. And so I'm just reminded because I tend to forget and what's my next action. And I'm reminded because I tend to forget. That's how my brain works. Conveniently, right next to that is my ubiquitous capture device, which is just like a general inbox. So I can just dump things in there and then process them at the end of the day at one level and then at the end of the week at a different level. It's so like completely inbox zero on that. Over here is my lovely, long-standing, what used to be my home. This is now my home. This, this board is now my workflow home. And I embedded all of these projects and all the stuff that's always been my workflow at home before. So that's actually where all my projects and tasks are. Um, at the beginning of each week, I go into my task, uh, into my project list, uh, like I've always done, add hashtag sprint to anything I want to work on that week. And then at the beginning of every day, I had add hashtag in process that you can see right here to anything I want to work on today. Then I select all using WFX and then mirror them into um, mirror them into my next actions. And then I organize them so that the next thing pops to the top. And then over here is my calendar. And that's currently I may do some stuff, more stuff with that later. I actually have a calendar, which is my Google calendar, where I put my events and stuff and meetings. Um, and I'm experimenting with putting that in workflow. That might work. That might not for me. We'll see. Um, but for now, that's not my focus. My focus is this board. So, um, so I head into workflow to get to this capture. I, do, I am in workflow. I've always been in workflow a lot, but I'm in workflow probably 10 to 20 times more often per day in order to get into this capture node, which means 10 to 20 more times a day. I'm going to see what's my next action on my flywheel. What's my next action? for the day and it's just going to keep on bringing it to mind which is for my brain that tends to like be collecting information all the time all of that stuff just gets lost in the shuffle um so that works really good uh so yeah all that to say i'm working on this board the calendar is i've played around with it a little bit but for now what i do is when i'm done my day i put at journal and then i indent all of these into here Tip tab. So those are not, those are now in my journal for that day. And I drag it over and embed it in that day. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not at the end of my day. I'm going to hit control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. You know, it's pretty basic. It's changed my life, but it's pretty basic. It's just this simple thing that's really changed how I operate day to day, how my days feel, because I'm going into capture stuff, which is what I've always wanted to do, which I've always done, not just wanted to do. I've just done it. Now I'm doing it specifically in workflow, capturing all the stuff. Again, a shout out to Dan and Mike, who were the first people I saw who kind of had a journal centric workflow process uh, that they used to generate other content. So that's where this really came from. As I saw that, I'm like, huh, for Pete's sakes, how have I not seen that as a possibility and immediately created this and started playing around with it. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to change some. I think it's going to change some. 
I'm going to keep on tweaking it, but I think I'm kind of at the end of that like super heavy duty development. Um, it's working really well. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll probably be on to the next system sometime soon. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be exciting, whatever it is. All right. I hope that's helpful. Um, get, definitely give me some feedback. If you see a way to improve it or something that you do, um, that could be built into this kind of mechanic. Oh, I will say this one more thing and then I'm going to be done because I've got to go paint is that if there's something else, because my my focus and attention is going to go to I'm trying to get to capture. But because when I open it up on my computer or open up on my phone, the first thing I'm going to see is that flywheel because I'm like born in America. So I read left to right. Um, so I'm going to see that flywheel at the top. I'm going to go into the next action. And here's my question for myself, for you. Is there something else? Is there is there another list that I need to put there? Because this is like this mechanic is a tool of attention cultivation, which is the big deal. So what else do I want to cultivate? What needs to be on this list? Uh, I've thought about maybe like, um, you know, is there something I'm wanting to learn and memorize? I could put it right there and, you know, it, it could just be a quote. It could be um, like intermittent learning kind of st something that I can. I could use like maybe WFX, like auto generation tool that kind of randomizes a node. And I could do a randomized node from within a particular, you know, Zettelkasten node and then just kind of pull in quotes and ideas that I just want to regularly be interacting with. Maybe that. I've also thought maybe something along the lines of the full focus journal. And if you know what that process is, I actually own one of those. I've not used it. I've read the book uh, like the thought. And like anything, that's going to help me focus more. So this might be a way that I can actually do like a full focus journal, something like that. So anyway, my brain's still spinning a little bit on is there anything else that I want to put in here uh, that could be helpful. So we'll see. But for now, I hope that's helpful. It's been helpful to me. So if you try it out, let me know. I'd love to see if you do any kind of tweaks to it. Peace out.